This is the Refinery Dataset Browser. The demo dataset shown here contains 215 files, which are annotated with metadata attributes such as tissue origin, epigenetic factor, or drug used for treatments. These attributes can be used for faceted browsing. In addition to the metadata attributes, we have also captured the data provenance for these files. Here is a representation of the provenance graph as a simple node link diagram. The graph is large, containing a total of 927 nodes representing files and the tools that were used to process them. Due to the size of this graph, there is no room for labels. Even with details on demand and zooming, it is hard to get an overview of what was done. However, due to the nature of bioinformatics analyses, this graph is highly structured. You can emphasize this by coloring each workflow type in a distinct color. Since information in this graph is hierarchically organized, we can show the graph at different levels of aggregation. Workflow instances, analysis input groups, analyses, and what we call layers that represent repetitive patterns of workflow executions. We can learn more about the structure of the study by mapping other attributes to the node color. For example, we can map the analysis execution time and the darker a node, the more recently it has been created. We can also filter nodes based on these attributes and either fade filtered nodes or temporarily remove them from the graph. Now we can expand the remaining aggregated nodes to see more detail. We can map different metadata attributes as node labels. Hovering over a node show all metadata associated with the node. Let's investigate a layer node marked with a change indicator. The orange asterisk indicates that not all of the analyses in this layer have the same parameterization. Indeed, the two analyses in this layer have different numbers of analysis input groups and their outputs are routed differently. We will drill down into this analysis to obtain more information about the workflow. To find out where the inputs for this workflow execution came from, we can modify the degree of interest function to automatically expand any highlighted path to the workflow level. Once we select the inputs for the workflow that we are interested in, their path to the raw data is highlighted and automatically expanded. We zoom in to investigate the intermediate files and tools on the path from the raw data to our workflow of interest. We can also revert this functionality and trace all the output files generated from a raw data file of interest. For example, we observed that this raw data file was run through the MAX2 workflow twice. But only one of the two MAX2 results was passed on to the pileup workflow. The degree of interest function can be modified to achieve different types of expansions. Here we emphasize our interest in more recently generated files and the degree of expansion is determined by the execution time of the analyses, which is encoded in the node color. Another option is to map the highest interest to the current selection and to expand selected nodes. This works for layers and also for any other aggregation level. Since we created an implementation of the Avocado approach in the Collaborative Refinery Data Analysis platform, analysts can now employ the graph aggregation and degree of interest controlled expansion mechanisms to reproduce the results of studies that have been shared with them.